Hello, everybody. It's Ian from Ferrum, and we are back with another edition of the Ferrum interview series. I am here with IK Inu, one of the co-founders of the Project Inverse, XIV project, one of our first uh, FAS, uh, Ferrum Advisory Service Incubator projects. They have been hard at work improving their platform and coming up with some new initiatives. We thought it was a great opportunity to bring IK back here, um, give us a nice little update. So uh, first of all, how you doing, IK? Good to see you. Hey, Ian, nice to see you. Nice to see you again. Glad to be back. Yeah, so um, before we dive into some of the updates, if you don't mind just giving us um, an overview, sort of a, just a brief description or background, uh, let me start with the background of yourself and then the background of the project as well, and then we can we can uh, dive into some of the details from there. Sure. Um, uh, thanks for having me again. Uh, so I've been in the, kind of the crypto space for five years. Uh, like everyone else, I started with Bitcoin, buying Bitcoin, kind of went down the rabbit hole after that. And um, starting in 2019 and uh, end of 2019, um, uh, end of 2018, beginning of 2019, well, we met you guys, um, the Ferrum Project, and uh, helped incubate Ferrum after we uh, founded TLG, which was our um, kind of a VC firm. And um, we kind of watched you guys develop after that. And, um, and we kind of have reverse roles. You know, you guys have kind of helped us um, develop our project uh, over the last uh, few months. So uh, we definitely appreciate that. Um, and uh, so that's where we are. Um, we kind of launched, um, or we launched uh, Project Inverse in uh, the spring of um, this year, 2021. And uh, the platform came out, we did our IDEO in, uh, in March, the platform was launched in April. And we've just been kind of iterating ever since, kind of improving the platform and kind of expanding the scope of what Project Inverse is. And um, so here we are to kind of um, show our community and the rest of the world uh, what we've been up to. Fantastic. Well, thank you for that uh, brief background. Um, so I, you, you mentioned you've been iterating and improving. Um, that's obviously great to hear. If you could just tell us um, a little bit about the journey of where where the product started, what's the what was the product, um, you know, in, initially, and, and where it's at today, and, and where do you see it um, going from here? Awesome. So the whole idea behind the Inverse platform, which Project Inverse was built around and now has expanded, but the Inverse platform was to allow uh, users um, using DeFi um, to speculate on the movement of uh, a whole number of coins, whether up or down, and earn outsized gains from that. Um, so this is kind of different from, uh, I guess you could call it like a, der a derivative platform, but it's kind of different from most der derivative platforms out there that only allow you to uh, speculate on one or two coins. Like we have a whole list of coins that you can speculate on. And um, so we conceived this platform um, focused on the user, um, allowing people to earn gains um, and speculate based on the coins that they chose. But uh, uh, we ran into a few problems with our first and second, first and second versions, which were primarily with gas fees on Ethereum. Um, and also the fact that um, with, with the way the contracts were written, you could not stake any time you, you wanted. There was a specific uh, window of time you could stake um, and uh, I would say bet on the movement of these coins. Um, so all that's been fixed. Um, we've now, uh, we're not only on Ethereum, we're also on, uh, more importantly, on uh, Binance Smart Chain, which is so much cheaper. Um, um, way lower gas fees um, and just uh, has led to a, a faster platform and more user-friendly platform and now users can stake any time the UI has improved um, and the rewards are better and uh, the forfeits are standardized so there there's a lot to discover for the users that's great to hear. And I'm not surprised you ran into issues with the gas fees. Frankly, I think DeFi on Ethereum is, I mean, more or less unusable for your average user. 
And, and I'm also happy here that you guys uh, sort of went back to the drawing board and thought, okay, how do we make the user experience better? I mean, you know, after all, um, if you don't have adoption, um, you know, you're not going to have success. And so you need to be uh, really focused on the user experience and, and just making sure the user are happy. Um, so I'm, I'm really glad to hear that. So, so what specifically um, are some of the updates in this V3 um, that you can tell us about? Sure. And uh, we can go, obviously, we're going to go through the platform. Um, but the UI, the user uh, interface, um, the user experience, um, a faster platform, way lower gas fees, uh, more coins to speculate on, um, higher rewards, and um, and an expanding ecosystem. Um, and we can we'll talk some more about that as I um, as we kind of go over the platform and more of what Project Inverse is up to. Perfect. That's a great um, that's a great segue, I think, uh, into the demo. So if you're if you're able to pull that up. Sure. Maybe. So uh, let me uh, share my screen. I hope you can see my screen. Yes. Yeah, we can see your screen. Thank you. Okay, perfect. So this is the new platform, uh, the new uh, inverse platform. So right now we're looking at uh, a dashboard, a very um, kind of straightforward da dashboard. It shows um, if I had anything staked on the inverse side, which would be if I was speculating on coins moving to the downside, it will show it over here. If I, on the right side, if I was speculating on coins moving to the upside, it would show it in the green and my rewards will be seen in the purple based on what I've accumulated, uh, based on my, my, uh, my guesses. And this will give you further detail on the platform. Um, so we can go further here. We have uh, th so far three categories of coins, uh, DeFi coins, chain coins, and NFT coins. Um, list here, here are a few uh, DeFi coins. We have the popular ones, uh, you know, Uniswap Link, uh, Urine. Uh, in the chain coins, we have a list of coins as well. Uh, the big coins. Wow, nice. Yes, and, uh, and the NFT coins, that's still expand, expanding, but right now we have the most popular coin, which is Axie Infinity. So um, now, if I wanted to speculate on the upside, uh, that um, let's let's go to the DeFi coins, that Uniswap uh, was going to move up uh, in a certain time period, um, I would go ahead and do that. So what are my options? My, I can speculate either in a fixed vault or a flexible vault. Now the fixed vault um, allows you to, and all of this is done using XIV, the XIV token. That's the utility token of the entire platform and the entire project inverse ecosystem. And we'll get to, to more about that. Um, if um, I thought that uh, Uni was gonna go up 3%, the fixed vaults are fixed at 3% on the upside or downside. In the next six hours, I could, I could uh, put in a thousand XIV, confirm the amount. Uh, my risk is 20% of what I've staked. And my poss uh, possible reward is 3000 XIV, so 3x my stake. Okay, that's in the fixed vault. Not so, bad. A huge gain. Uh, <laughs> I confirm. And then I can go to the dashboard. And so my staked amount is there. And right now, let's go to the date, today's date. So there's a there's a staking history. So it took me back to other stakes that I've done. So here is what I just did. Yeah, yeah, very um, cool. There you go. Now we can go back. And if I thought we can go to the to a chain coin and on the flexible vaults, if I thought BNB, so the, the flexible vaults allows you to pick your own risk and reward category. 
value, right? So your uh, drop or rise values are mm. just 2%, 4%, and 6%, okay? So obviously, the, the higher you go, the... Um, Actually, the risk is the same uh, as 20%, but you're, the higher you go, the higher your reward is. Right. Let's put it that way. Right. Um, 1,000 XIV. If I thought um, uh, BNB was going to go down 4% in the next, I have 24 hours as my option, three days as my other option, or seven days. So let's say I can pick seven days. Uh, my reward, my possible reward is 2000 XIV. Okay. So, and uh, my risk again is 20%. I confirm that amount, stake, and basically the same thing. So, you can basically study a coin uh, and basically keep uh, speculating on that coin on the upside or the downside and do very well and each almost every day we add a new coin to the list very cool um, we, yes and um so let's talk about something called the liquidity vault here um so on the other side a user can add liquidity uh to the liquidity vaults uh in the form of xiv which um um and can earn XIV from the forfeits that uh, the speculators, um, from the losses from the speculators. On the other end, um, the winnings uh, come from the liquidity vault. So the users in, uh, who add to the liquidity vault can add an uh, XIV and remove the XIV whenever they want. If they feel they're up uh, some XIV, they can take it out. If they want to add some, um, at any time and remove it at any time, they can do that whenever they want. So, but it's basically liquidity for the for the wins and for the and and for the losses. Okay, if that's if I, I hope that's clear. Um, no, that's perfectly clear, and I think it is a point uh, uh, that 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 bears repeating and emphasizing because the um, the pool of tokens that that's that is funding um the the winnings um of the of the participants is not coming solely uh from the project's own treasury exactly. it's actually being funded by those who already have tokens in the ecosystem token holders and so it's not like every day you guys are just dumping more and more tokens um into you know you know into the supply in order to fund the winners you're doing it through uh you're basically crowdfunding that so to speak Exactly. Uh, important. I think an important distinction to make. And it's wide open and users and who can come and go as they want um, to add to it. Very cool. Um, a, a, another um, feature which is being added as we speak is a multi-coin feature um, that allows users to use um, other coins. Uh, and we're going to start with BNB and BUSD to basically fund their XIV. So in the drop down here, you won't only see XIV, you have BNB and BUSD. So they basically put up their uh, BUSD or BNB. We front them the XIV. They use that to speculate. Um, if they win, they get XIV back and they, they get XIV as their reward and their BNB back. If they lose, the 20% forfeit goes to the project inverse treasury. And it's the treasury that's gonna fund uh, the ecosystem of project inverse. Um, and um, and we'll, we'll kind of get in, uh, get some more into that. That's okay. That's also another important point because a lot of the users, um, the feedback that I had been hearing at least um, we're interested in seeing other tokens as available in, in terms of uh, the funding token or, or, or even the rewards token potentially. So it sounds like you are heading in that direction, giving people that option um, of, uh, of of basically utilizing the system with maybe a, a token that has more you know higher liquidity, higher market cap, and, and so on, or stable coin, um, like you said. So I think that's very important. And then Absolutely. the second point is some of the some you know you guys have a means of generating revenue through this platform which i want to touch on in a second but yeah. but um 
that's a very important thing as well that then the the, the revenues that you'll earn um, are actually going towards expanding the ecosystem rather than just you know you know going in your own pockets exactly and we'll i will we'll talk some more about that the revenues uh will be going obviously to buying back xiv and strengthening xiv but also um expanding the ecosystem as well and how we make those decisions uh we'll we'll talk some more about that but that's the inverse platform in in a nutshell and um you know if uh we have some time we can kind of talk about project inverse um in general and what uh kind of the vision we have going forward. Yeah, let's let's dive into that. And I just want to just uh, say great work so far. I mean, one thing that um, I always said to people, um, because you guys admittedly had gone through some struggles um, with the first version of the product, not, you know, with the gas fees, not making it very uh, usable, and then the token right. price suffering result. And I always told people, look, this is a team, I've known this team for a long, long time. These guys are grinders, they persevere. They right. identify the problems. They know they're smart guys. They know what the problem is. They're going to solve right. it. Yes, it might not be overnight, but you guys, I think, have demonstrated that again, that you're willing to push through, persevere, and improve things. Um, and I really think this this second, or th sorry, third iteration now um, could be the one um, that the users are really looking for. So uh, I just applaud you guys, and uh, I'm looking forward to um, you know the f a bright future uh, ahead for Project Inverse. Oh, thanks. Yeah, we, we totally agree. We're grinders. Uh, we're in this for the long term. Uh, we're not going anywhere. This is the first of uh, many things to come. And I think, um, you know, of course, we'd like to thank our amazing community. They've been with us the whole way. Um, and I think as the wider market discovers us, they're going to be amazed because they, can, they can't believe there's a low cap gem that no one has, uh, that they just discovered. So, um, I think uh, when they do, it's off to the races. So uh, I'm definitely excited for things to come. Oh, I'm totally with you there. So um, with that, why don't we talk a little bit about uh, some of the other uh, activities that are going to be going on with your with your ecosystem? Are you talking about a, you've been mentioning sure. now? Um, maybe some other things. So, so what what else is coming up for Project Inverse? Sure. So um, I'm just going to pull up the website here, and uh, we'll kind of. So, so basically what we're trying to do, like I said, is build a, a DeFi ecosystem or a DeFi economy around the XIV token primarily. And this is kind of the vision that we have and things to come. Um, you know, so we uh, demonstrated the inverse platform. Um, we also have uh, a token bridge. Um, we'd like to thank Ferrum for listing us uh, on their bridge. Um, we also have our bridge as well. Uh, so if users uh, want to use our bridge as opposed to Ferrum's or vice versa, they're free to do that. But the bridge, our bridge right now just has XIV. So you can move XIV from um, Ethereum to BSC and uh, to Polygon and vice versa. Um, we also have a staking platform that's uh, out, uh, but also being updated called Vault Pass, and we'll kind of uh, we can touch on that some more later. And then some other platforms kind of built around XIV, uh, the Collective Vault uh, is um, a staking platform that allows users to pull their their funds, pull their their tokens and speculate on the movement of coins. Uh, Replica is a uh, uh, perpetual AMM, perpetual um, AMM built around uh, XIV. Um, and now uh, we get to the DAO. Um, so we're in the process of uh, launching uh, launching the DAO, pull it up here, um, called the Cepha DAO. Um, nice. And um, that's basically to uh, build a governance body around the economy, the XIV economy and the XIV uh, uh, ecosystem. And we'll be uh, putting some more information about that uh, in the coming days. Um, uh, we're going to put out a, a kind of a detailed medium article as to the requirements to join the DAO, the stipulations of the DAO. And uh, yeah, very excited as to, um, for, that to, for that to come out. Yeah, as am I. I mean, I think, um, well, first of all, the uh, it's obvious that, that, that you guys are thinking long term. Um, this is the, there's a there's a there's a big vision behind Project Inverse. And so it's one of these projects that I think uh, will take maybe it'll take some time to mature. 
but once uh, but once you've reached um, that that point where the, many of these products are launched, the Dow's out, you're going to be in much much different position. And so um, the good news is it's still very early. But the se the second the second thing I'd like to touch on is um, the the fact that you're moving in more towards a Dow or a model or governance based model. And just speaking from personal experience. Um, when Ferrum, when Ferrum, um, when we launched our uh, governance token, Ferrum X, um, it really, it really improved all, all, all different hosts of, of things for us. Um, mainly by by be, being able to tap into sort of the the knowledge base um, and the connections and, and the passion of our governance committee members. So and and, and they've really been a tremendous help to us since um, since we formed the governance committee. And so uh, I think you guys go in that direction. You're going to you're going to see a drastic change, drastic improvement once you form this this DAO um, and you've onboarded all these incredible people. You're going to see things really accelerate and improve even at a greater pace. So uh, I'm looking forward uh, to, to seeing that and being a part of that as well. Yeah, thanks, Ian. Uh, and we appreciate your advice over the last uh, few months. Um, you know, you've been you've been great. Uh, You've definitely encouraged us, um, and you're right. Um, we we can't wait for the the support and the the um, the vision of others, basically, that will come from adding other community members to the DAO. So um, from the DAO and uh, to to our group. So um, we're definitely looking forward to that. You know, we, we know that uh, other people have amazing ideas. Will which we can definitely uh, take advantage of, and um, and we can't wait for that. Yeah, I think it's gonna be good. I think um, one one other thing I know uh, I'm not sure we can we can uh, preview it or provide a sneak peek, but you know one of your uh, co-founders, Jermaine, is very tapped into the world of of incubations, pre-sales, um, getting access to early stage projects, and so I, I believe there is. Uh, a plan on the horizon uh, for the DAO members, or certain of the DAO members at least, to even participate in in pre-sales potentially. Uh, I don't know how much more we can, you know, you can comment on that. But um, what are, I guess, with that, what are what will be some of the benefits of the DAO? Good, Joining good question. Um, yes. Yeah, so we um, are around the DAO, we haven't really formally launched it, but there is something called a, a TL, the TLG Launchpad. Um, not totally um, tied with Project Inverse, but still part part of the ecosystem, and that uh, involves yes, uh, finding new projects, incubating them, and uh, and uh, and the DAO members get allocation from these projects that we that we find um dow members also get uh, are rewarded in xiv tokens as well and we are also going to be uh creating a governance token uh, a token a, a mintable governance token that will be uh, allocated to to dow members as well as the broader community and will also be um a utility token on on uh, most of our platforms as well so very yeah, cool Yes. Very cool. So a lot of a lot of things uh, coming up, um, exciting things coming up for Project Inverse. Uh, I, I really uh, highly uh, recommend that anyone in the firm community watch this to just take another hard look at this project. Again, they, they these guys did not stop, even though they faced some challenges, which is exactly you know, what we want to see in, in, in founders. I mean, God, firms faced uh, no shortage of our own challenges, and we just kept on working, working, working over the years. And eventually, um, you know, we, we started solving one by one. Same thing with Project Ember. So I, I highly recommend. Yeah, you guys have been a great example. So we're we're following your lead. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's either that or give up, which no one you know, yeah, no exactly. one's interested There's in that. No, so you just keep pushing. You, you identify the problems. You solve them one by one. People and the people that have the patience, the community members that have the patience, are the ones that tend to be rewarded the most. So I would uh, again Absolutely. recommend everyone take a look at Project Inverse once again. Um, IK, if you had anything else. Um, uh, why don't we uh, we can we can end it uh, uh, end it um, with one or two more comments from you? Um, yeah, that's um, we we're looking forward to uh, questions um, and, uh, from community members. Um, we're like I said, we're here for the long term. Uh, this is just the beginning, um, and uh, yes, come on board, try out the platform. Um, there's a lot more to come. That's awesome, and I know you guys are looking to hire some people. Um, so keep a lookout for anyone who's looking for 
maybe a marketing role um, in an awesome crypto project. I think you guys will be posting something soon about that. Absolutely. Anyone with any uh, with any marketing expertise can definitely reach out to us. Uh, we're available on our Telegram, but we'll also be posting, uh, making it official with a post. That's awesome. I'm sure, uh, I'm sure you'll get plenty of uh, people interested in that. Okay, good. So um, I want to thank you for your time. Uh, looking forward to bringing you on again in maybe like four or five months from now. And because we already did this like five months ago, Dude, we, we, can do. Do it, we, can, we can do it every every half a year or something like that. And, and I'm sure people are going to see the progression um, and the improvements you guys make each and every, um, you know, each and every month. So awesome. uh, thank you for your time, Mike. Awesome. All right. Nice to see you. Again. All right. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye. Right, take it easy. All right. Bye. Bye-bye.